Hi guys, Martins here and welcome in my Adobe Lightroom tutorial. It's Adobe Lightroom 5 Beta, of course, and today I'm gonna show you how to how to create something like HDR effect. Because as you know, HDR is method in photography to capture a greater dynamic range between the lightest and the darkest areas of an image than the current standard. It allows you to receive a picture of the scene characterized by a high tone spread. So as I said, today I'm gonna show you how to create this effect using Adobe Lightroom. It's our basic image and at first we started with basic panel. At first change the color temperature of the picture if you want using a white balance. And I want to add uh, some contrast. I think I know the contrast isn't the perfect idea in this effect, but I think it helps you to get uh, so much better effect. And then we should bring back the detail from the highlights. So set highlights at minus 100 to, to get back all the detail from the highlights. And the same with shadows, we need to lighten these parts to get back all the details from the darker part. I said blacks about minus 20. And then clarity, so one of the most important thing in HDR effect at 100. And as you see, our image is more sharpened right now. Also, but it's not necessary, you can add some vibrance if you want to to increase your colors and okay right now we finish with our basic panel and now it's time for split tuning uh, it's not necessary but i like to use split tuning and as always in highlights add some warm yellow color and in shadows this cold blue color if it's too strong for you, you can change saturation a little. And now go to detail panel and add some sharpen to sharpen your image. Maybe even uh, at 150. Also, you can add some sharpen on detail. But, but now our image has some noise so using noise reduction luminance at only minus 20 because uh, noise reduction can destroy our uh, hdr effect and we didn't want that also panel called effects uh, you can uh, add some vignette effect right now but but of course it's not necessary but i think it looks nice so it's okay And it's not necessary, but at the end, uh, you can add just a little highlights. But as I said, it's not necessary and sometimes it can destroy your HDR effect. As you see, I add just a 15 uh, for highlights to increase the highlights a little. And I think it looks a little better than before. So let's see our result. It has how our image looks before editing and that's how it looks after this whole process. So I think it looks much better than before. I like this HDR look on this image. So I hope you guys like this effect also. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and well, thank you for watching and see you soon in the next tutorial.